What's up, YouTube? My name is Ben with the Infinite Aquaponics YouTube channel. This is the very first video on my YouTube channel, so I figured it would be appropriate that the first video be about something that, in most cases, is going to be the first step in growing anything in your aquaponics system, and that is germinating your seeds. So I designed and built this. It is a do-it-yourself automatic seed germination system. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to go through detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how you can build this at home for about $100. All right, before we get into the details on how to build this, I figured I'd do a brief overview so you know exactly how the system works. Um, we have down here, this is the reservoir or the basin. Um, this is where the water is going to start off. There's a pump down here. That's going to kick on a couple times a day for 15 minutes. It's going to pump water up here into the growing tray. It's going to flood the bottom about two inches. It's going to be enough just to, to saturate and water all your seedlings that you're starting off in here. And then it drains, goes back down into the reservoir, and that's it. There is an air stone down in the reservoir, so it's aerating, oxygenating the water. So that way it's going to maintain a high dissolved oxygen content, which is going to be good for your plants. And then we have a grow light up here, which it too is on a timer. Uh, this is going to have it running for about 10 hours a day to start off just when the seedlings are young and we have an oscillating fan in the back so you're getting good air movement underneath the light. Alright, my first step was to measure and cut the four legs for this system. After I cut the four legs, I cut eight pieces all at the same length, and these are going to be the horizontal cross supports. Here I am taking the first piece that I cut and using it as a guide to mark my remaining seven cuts. Here's a picture of the four legs and the eight horizontal cross supports. Once I had my wood pieces cut, I took two of the legs and two of the horizontal pieces and I secured the top horizontal piece to the top of the legs. I pre-drilled all of my holes because 2x2s two two are very, very easy to split. Once I had secured both sides of the top piece in place, I flipped it over and had to secure the bottom piece. first had to measure and mark exactly where the bottom support was going to go. Here is what one completed side of the system looks like. I need two of them, so I did the exact same thing again for the other side. Next, I had to connect the two sides together.
I then secured the bottom horizontal support. Here's what the frame looked like after I had secured all of the horizontal supports. The next step was to drill the holes for the swiveling casters. Once all of the holes were drilled, I screwed in all of the casters. The next step was to measure and cut the pieces for the light support. Once the pieces were cut, I had to take the top piece and secure it to the top of the two side pieces. I used two spare pieces of 2x2 two two to hold the side pieces in place while I secured the top piece. Once the top piece was secured on both sides, I could remove the clamps. Here I am drilling the holes where the eye bolts are going to go that the light will hang from. I used clamps to hold the light frame in place while I attached it to the base frame. This is what the completed frame looked like. Next, I took a jigsaw and I used it to trim the corners of my piece of plywood so it would fit flush in the bottom of the germination system. I attached the plywood with four wood screws. Here, I am pre-drilling the holes for the ebb and flow kit in the hydroponic tray. After the hole was drilled, I used a pipe reamer and I cleaned up the opening. I then drilled the exact same size hole in the opposite side of the tray. Once the holes were drilled, the hydroponic tray was ready to place in the frame. Next, I installed the ebb and flow kit. 
The first piece I installed was the flow of the ebb and flow, or the side where the water will enter the grow tray. I then installed the ebb side of the ebb and flow kit. This is the side that the water will overflow over the fitting and leave the tray. Here, I am pre-drilling the holes in the lid to my reservoir for the hoses to pass through. It was then time to fit the reservoir with the water pump and the air stone. Once the components were installed in the reservoir, I could then set the reservoir on its shelf and attach the pump hose to the flow fitting and the drain hose to the ebb fitting. I then trimmed the excess length off the air hose and attached it to the air pump. I then needed to secure the surge protector to the piece of plywood. Instead of trying to measure the length between the two mounting holes on the back of the surge protector, I took a piece of painter's tape poked a hole where the two screws will go and use that as my guide for securing the screws to the piece of plywood. I then connected the light hangers to the eye bolts. It was then time to hang the light.
I use zip ties to secure the power cord going from the grow light down to the surge protector. I made sure not to over tighten the zip ties so the cord was able to move. That way I would be able to adjust the grow light to accommodate different stages of plant growth. I organized the wires in the rear of the system with zip ties. Alright, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video, share it. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Yeah, if you really enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the new videos that I post. I'm going to be doing videos on aquaponic system design, building your system, running your system, fish health, proper plant nutrition, insect problems. I'm going to be covering all facets of aquaponics, so you're not going to miss any of that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And in my next video, I'm going to be doing a follow-up to this video. So we're going to be going over how to germinate the seeds in this tray. What type of medium to use, what type of water you should use, if you should use tap water, aquaponic system water, if you should add anything to it, how to plant the seeds. We're going to be covering everything in the next video, so make sure you subscribe. Don't want to miss any of it, and I will see you guys next time.